Hi, I'm Sam, welcome to my channel. So I released a video a little while back regarding on why you should join the army in 2023. Now I'm gonna talk about a few things on why you probably shouldn't join the army in 2023. Now, there's my little ducks in the background, a little bit of calm in TV in the background as well. Just uh, adds, adds a nice little ambiance to the whole thing. Right, okay, first one. You're not fitness ready. So if you're not fitness ready to join the army, it might be better for you to put a plan together in order to join in 2024. So some people, they're not fitness ready. They go to the assessment center, they fail their bleep test or fail elements of the fitness part. And then they're like, right, I don't want, I don't want the army. The army is not for me, but it's just because they're not fitness ready and I've already failed at the first hurdle. So your best bet is to get ready, get your CV, get your muscular endurance ready to go to the assessment center. So that isn't one of your worries because there are a whole other load of worries before you go to the assessment center and go to basic training and actually join the army. And the fitness one is the easiest barrier to overcome. So if you're not fitness ready, and you go into the assessment center with some doubts in your mind, it could be worth you. Some people, they'll go there with some doubts in their mind and absolutely hammer it. But if you're that person who probably throughout your life hasn't done that, then it might be better for you to just take a step back, take a breath and actually really work on your fitness before you apply to join the army. The second one is if you do not like being away from family and friends. I joined the army a little bit older. I was 21, so I was quite mature. So I had no dramas being away from family and friends because I knew I would see them in the future. But some people, if you're younger, if you're like 17, you might not be able to handle being away from family and friends. And it might actually impact your whole experience on being in the army. You might go to basic training, especially if you go to Harrogate for a long time and you're getting a little bit homesick and you think, do you know what? The army me is just not for me and that's just because you're a little immature and a little bit younger so if, if if that's the case and you think I'm not joining the army because I might get homesick and I don't want to be away from my family and friends then just leave it a couple of years because by the time you're 19 and 20 you'll have a whole different experience you you might want to be away from your family once you start maturing and really hitting adulthood so i would in fact if you think you're going to be homesick if, and you're actually quite young just wait a couple of years don't let that be the factor that actually pulls you out of basic training you might never want to go back and actually if you waited a couple of years till you're 19 20 you could have actually been a really great soldier okay number three you do not like being out in the cold all right no one likes being out on the cold being out in the cold or camping in the cold people generally don't do that for the vacation but you will be doing a lot of that in the army if you will be doing a lot of it it's always cold in the uk and when we generally deploy when we do exercises we do sometimes go to cold places as well where you might be living in the cold for three four weeks or up, up, up to two months depending on where you're going so if that really isn't your bag and you think you're really gonna struggle with it i probably wouldn't bother joining the army but if you think that you can actually put up with it then the army is absolutely perfect for you. But it can be really difficult for some people, especially getting up once you've just gone to sleep after your stag and it's like two in the morning and you've got to get up again and it's absolutely freezing. Some people do struggle with that. And that's another factor why they might want to get out of the army. So it's not something you can really train for, but if you think you're, you that just isn't the bag for you, then I, it, I don't think the army is for you either number four don't join the army if you think the army is your only option in life okay if you've had a number of jobs and you keep quitting those jobs nothing is going to change if you join the army you'll probably just end up quitting 
the army as well. If you're running away from something, if you're going to be running away from your problems and you think joining the army is the key to hiding away from your problems, it's just not the case. Your problems will always follow you. The army, for a lot of people, is just a job. For some, it's, it's a calling and that's all they've ever wanted to do. But for most people, the army is actually just a job and any problems you do have if you're running away or you think it's your only option, it's a job like any other job in the world. And if you if you quit your last five jobs, chances are you're probably going to quit the army as well. So if you think it's your last option, if you're running away from problems, don't do it in the army. Your best bet is to face them head on, resolve everything, then join the army with a clear head. Okay, last one. Number five, you think you're going to be going to war. Listen, right? When I joined up, I was quite fortunate. We had lots of campaigns, so I went on lots of campaigns, got lots of medals. But you see people now who haven't been on any campaigns. They've got like one medal, which might be the Queen's Jubilee, because they don't. They, 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 there's not a lot going on at this time. And in fact, to counter that, we, we you just do a lot more exercises and going away. So if you think you're going to join the army and you're going straight to war with Russia or you're going to be going straight to the Ukraine, that's probably not going to happen. So you join the army. If you're lucky, you will deploy. If you're well, not so much unlucky, but if you if you don't go to war, that's almost part of the job. Now we train, we train to go to war, but we don't want to go to war, if that makes complete sense. So if you think you're joining the army just to go to war and you'll be always going to war, that is just not the case whatsoever. There's a lot of hanging around. There's a lot of preparation work. There's a lot of training. There's a lot of going on exercises. So don't just think you're joining the army to go to war, okay? If, if you want to know what the army is really like, watch my other videos that will better mentally, physically prepare you and give you a better idea of, in fact, what army life is actually like. So those are the five things why you probably shouldn't join the army in 2023. But if anyone has any other comments, which I'm sure, which I'm sure some of uh, the disgruntled viewers will, they, I'm sure they'll have lots of stories, but they're, they're kind of like five ones which I think are quite um, pertinent to most people that, that watch my videos. If you do have any questions or comments, though, please, well, you know where to leave them. Take care. Bye.